how you all doing? I'm SparkyPow and welcome back to the Boogeyman. Last time we encountered the Boogeyman again and we had a little fight with him. Oh, you prefer to see him dying a painful death? Who? The arrow is stuck in the door. There's a tag and a small key attached. Got a small key. Okay, what's that key for? There's a large crossbow attached to the table. Opening the door cut a wire which fired it. Clever. Okay, that's really clever. Can I take it? You know, a weapon because weapons are good. No? Okay. I believe there was a locked door over here. So, yeah. It is save. In case of the deadly horrors and let's unlock the door don't kill me oh hey there david hi what are you looking up at look down below at his feet Dead. oh no no ah, i finally got you snared that detective was a bit too perceptive earlier killing you would put me at a big advantage a critical hit to the detective Oh, this is getting good. You're cheating. You said that you wouldn't harm anyone who detective saved. Yes. Oh no. Exactly. This may sting a bit, David, but not for long. Uh-oh. Now hurry, Batman. Robin's gonna be a canary. What do I do? Uh-oh. Okay, gas, gas, gas. Think. <laughs> Put that over your mouth. Oh, yeah. Break the window. Okay, okay. Just run. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Can you take... No, you can't. Don't die. Oh, God. He's gonna die, isn't he? Oh no! Stop coughing and walk! Boogie, you're a bad foul player, really. No. Uh, oh, I can't save. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, okay. Uh. There's this place. This place leads to somewhere. It wouldn't be here for nothing. Waterway. Please tell me this is the right way. Oh. Oh. It's not. Okay. This is weird. This. Oh no. No, no, no. He is not gonna die. How do I get that? Oh, I can't grab it. Can I use anything else? Uh, this. Oh no, he's gonna die. How do I save you? No, don't read. Oh no, 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 no. How do I get that out? He's gonna die. Please don't kill him. No. No. Oh no, he died. Because of me. <sighs> okay, what do I do? How do I get the knives? Can I get anything to... To go past the knives? I'll just... Okay, there... I have to check that waterway room. First. Okay. Uh, go. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Mr. Chicken here. Um, okay. Before going, think. Okay, there was... There was a room with a detergent and a towel. Can I use a towel to do break the knives? I doubt so. There must be something. Skip. Okay. Can I do anything here? No. Open the curtains. Can you take a curtain with you? No. 
Yes, you can. Great. I forgot about uh, the curtain. Put it over yourself. Yes. Now go. This should keep you safe. At least safer. Just don't, just don't breathe, David. Don't breathe. Okay, now it's Keith's turn. Run to that room and let's try the towel. I mean, I couldn't pick up anything there. But there must be a reason that room is there and that tower, towel and the detergent. Do I do something with the detergent? I don't know. The poor guy is gonna die again because of me and my incompetence. Where's the room? Okay, can I think? Uh, oh, I can take it. Uh, nothing. Okay. Run, Keith. Run. I'm not gonna let that poor guy die again because of me. Okay. Uh, use a towel. Now. Okay. Take it. You have a towel. Oh, I did it. Good. Um, where are you? No! Okay, please tell me this is the right place. No, of course it isn't. Please tell me he's alive. No. Keith! Thank goodness. Ah! Ouch. You okay? It, yeah, I guess. But I think I got a bump on my head just now. Good. You go back to the room. If this happens again, I can't afford to save you. Sorry. It's my own stupidity to blame. That's not the problem. If anything happens to you, I'm the one left with a crying Shirley. Isn't there anyone who'd cry for you? Maybe not anymore. Huh? Still want to tag along? Yeah. That's a surprise. Do what you like. I'm exhausted. Wow. Okay, we we did a good thing. We saved him. Um, now what now? Are you okay, Keith? Don't tell me he's dying. Oh no, Keith isn't okay. Can we get anything from that room to help you? Because that room seems to be a gold mine for secret stuff. A brush, a detergent. I doubt that the detergent would help. What? A towel hangs on the wall. No, it doesn't. Oh, Keith. Please don't die. You're not hurt at all. Your health is at 100. You keep going under. Also, David doesn't seem phased about the corpse anymore. Look. Oh, he's sick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Can he climb? Yes, he can. Keith, you're worrying me. Stop Stop stopping like that. Don't kill me. Okay. Don't la act like you didn't know. It's just the way it goes. What does? Whoa, what the hell is... Oh, what the hell is wrong with this? What? His hand. Keith. Oh. Let's rest a little. If you don't take a break, you're going to... Die? Shut up. This isn't the time. I'm tired, okay? Let me rest. Or are you gonna drag around an exhausted citizen, detective? <laughs> Good one. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> Lend me your lighter. You've got one smoke to rest. That's still an un unhealthy habit, you know. The heck is that guy anyway? How does he know about my mom? And Shirley's past. It's really disturbing. It is. David, did you celebrate your birthday with Shirley last month? Or was it 
with Paul and Marion. Oh, I scheduled a meal with Shirley, then celebrated with Paul and Marion the other... The other what? They. He didn't read it till oh. the end. Did I ever tell you my friends' names? Nope. Sorry about your mother. Benjamin's are like a landmine. One misstep means trouble. Yeah. But I guess they don't teach you how to dodge landmines in flight school, huh? What? Oh, and you want to toughen your stomach for anchovies and liver. I mean, unless you want younger girls thinking that's cute or whatever. <laughs> Hold on a second. What do you know about my mom, too? And my friends in school? I never told you any of that, right? He's a detective. Of, ho of course he knows this stuff. Keep this between us. But working as a detective for 15 years, you get to know stuff. Like what someone's done in the past, just by looking at their faces. Maybe that big-headed freak is the same way. You're kidding, right? You think I'm kidding? Yeah. You're a real sucker. Take care you don't get swindled someday. Swin swindled? What does that mean? What's this about? What do you know all about me? You were taken to the police after the incident with your mother. Remember the detective who questioned you? I was pretty dazed at the time, so I don't really remember. But it wasn't you, was it? Eric Simpson, my subordinate. It was only an attempted crime, so he was the only one to handle you. And you know, he's got a real messy desk. He lets case files and the like pile up so high, they even topple over onto my desk. <laughs> I saw some files on you among them. Your history, your family, that kind of info. Oh, and the ones who verified your identity were your friends Paul and Mary and Martin. Oh. I remember them well, especially because that Paul guy made a huge ruckus at the station. He was the one that ate too many chili dogs too, right? Probably. And the anchovies. Oh yeah, I mentioned that at dinner. But I didn't tell you I hated liver, did I? Oh, it's kinda obvious. I hate anchovies myself, and I hate liver. That's all. <laughs> Why did you make a guess for that one? Because you're stupid enough that I thought it'd fool you. <laughs> if you know so much about me, why didn't you say so when we first met? Because I was suspicious of you. Huh? Me? Why? Why? A year and a half ago, you found a hanged body in an abandoned house in another state. The state police came to us trying to determine the guy's identity. Okay. That's when I read your testimony, and it was real sketchy. Sketchy? Why? I understand you were looking for the guy who formerly lived in your apartment, but how did you track him down without even knowing his name or what he looked like? Supernatural stuff. You said you followed notes, but when you were asked to show him, you said you lost them. <laughs> you said you shot a man in the house, but there was no gunpowder on the gun, no dropped cartridges, most importantly, nobody to shoot. And then you just happened to find that former tenant's corpse. You gotta know that's suspicious. It is, actually. B but it's true. I was led there by the notes he wrote. Once I found the body and called the police, I realized they were gone. And I did shoot someone. But I'm not sure if it was a person. As you testify. But I guess that doesn't matter so much now. I was wary of you because of what you could have done. I didn't want to leave Helena with a madman. If you did anything even a little weird, I was going to turn around and take my wife home. Do you still distrust me? Actually, not anymore. When we first met on the boat, I intentionally told you that I was a detective. Somebody with something to hide would be alarmed. But then you just said, cool, so I was a bit less wary. You might be crazy for all I know, but you haven't shown any sign of being dangerous. <laughs> Listen, everyone's got bad stuff in their past. For somebody who shouldn't know it to dig it up and use it against you, that agitate and anger most people. He knows that well. He's showing off what he knows to upset all of you and control your actions. He's done it to you, to Richard, to Lance. Lance, too? He's an ex-journalist. 
took photos of that job too. When he published articles, he signed his photos with LK. He investigated the state police during a sexual assault and murder case three years back, but went too far. The victim's family and civil liberties group attacked him for invasion of privacy, and he was driven out of journalism. How do you know about all that, Keith? Doesn't matter. Well, I understand that those are the guy's methods, but how does he know all of our pasts in the first place? The boogeyman lives in your closet, right? So, he's always watching. Watching when you nearly killed your mother. Watching when you were snuggling with your wife in bed. Oh. D don't make threats like that. He's only human. The appearance, the weapon, the info, it's all just to scare us. You're taking it pretty well, though. It's all cheap tactics. It's not going to scare me. Yep, that's our detective. Nothing scares him, even though his wife might be in danger. Still calm. <laughs> if I let myself be shaken, you'd all follow suit. I can't protect anyone if I get distracted. A detective doesn't just go fishing for corpses. I've got my lousy pride and my duty. I can't just watch while someone kills people with a grin on their face. Even if you're forsaking someone important to you? Even then. What are you trying to say? <laughs> It's obvious, man. There's a big gap between your ideal and what you really want. It's contradictory. Isn't that painful for you? Pretty much, but he hides it. Hmm. I wanted to be a pilot, but thinking about it now, I think I was just too stubborn to see anything else. So? You'll understand someday. Someday. I'm taking a nap here. Let's go. Keith, those things you said before, were you trying to make me angry? Yep. I don't intend on telling anyone your history, nor your family problems. Sorry if you're still pissed. No, it's fine. I guess I am kind of a brat. That's debatable. Okay. Now what? Uh, this place is weird. Painting! I like paintings. Uh, I don't like this painting. It's creepy. Looking closely, the frame is raised a little. Oh! What? Keith. This place is weird. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, save. Uh, just in case we die. We probably will. Oh hi. A ladder going down. Do we go? Okay. There's a dial lock on the door. I don't know passwords yet. Hi, painting. A painting. An iron door. It's locked and won't open. That happens when the doors are locked, yeah? Oh, look. Hi. Book. A Bible. Nice. We're gonna pray before we die, hey? Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was on the surface of the deep. God's spirit was hovering over the surface of the waters. Yahweh God planted an, a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. This is long. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created the man, he made him in God's likeness. God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Yahweh said to Noah, Come with all your household into the ship. 
Noah lived 350 years after the flood. All the days of Noah were 950 years. Then he died. Come, let's go down. And there confused their language that they may not understand one another's speech. That's the Tower of Babylon, I think. Oh, another room. Hi. Ooh, papers, please. I don't like this place. Bible passages that look like they were written by a kid. Something's written in the corner. There can't be anything like limbo. Mom and Dad say that since I haven't been baptized yet, if I die, I'll go to limbo. But there can't be a limbo. I don't want to go to limbo. I hate this meditation room too. And I really hate these Bible passages, but it's much better than the closet. I really, really hate the closet, but that's what I think every time I yell, I'm yelled at and go in there. But I just do the same things again and go back in there. When I'm in the dark, cramped closet, closet, I wonder if I stay here forever, I wonder if I'll turn into a monster, like a movie monster who kills his mom and dad and messes up with this whole house. But when I leave the closet, I'm just me. I couldn't become a monster. I couldn't. So I always apologize to mom and dad, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry for doing bad things. I love you more than anyone in the world. Oh, this is weird. Uh... Hey, stop that, would you? Huh? Stop that thing. It's hurting my it's ears. It's not his phone. But what does? Your phone! I hate hearing phones ring. It's yours, right? Make it stop you already! You tell me only Keith can hear it. Calm down! Make it stop! Calm down, please! Where are you hearing a phone ringing? Oh god, it really is! There's no phone ringing. In fact, I think I lost my cell phone earlier. So please, calm down. Keith is going cuckoo! I hate it. I hate the sound of phones. Why? Why? They're annoying, but hey. Because it always brings bad news. Very bad news. Uh oh. Excuse me. Stop the ringing. Now it's now it's annoyed me. Bearing here. Yes, that's right. I'll be what there. What happened? Is that when his son? Died. Mr. Baring, sorry to have called you. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. Uh oh. It really is him, isn't it? It's my son. Oh god. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife showed his name on them. Todd Baring. Check behind the neck. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. Oh god, that's so sad. That's so sad. Helen. Oh god, just stop that thing. Turn it off. It's me. Hey, Keith, you off loitering somewhere? You gotta hurry. The suspect's on the move. Head for Wellington Street. Got it? No. Keith, no! No! Come! Don't oh, go. God damn it. Keith! Stay with me. What? What's wrong with you? And then you wonder. Oh God! S smash that thing on the floor and dance around it. 
don't pick up. Go back. Are you crazy? I'm scared of phones ringing. I feel like someone's going to tell me about a death in the family again. You're a douchebag. God. Ever since then, I haven't been able to answer calls. Why your son die? Run over by a truck. Driver died instantly. I couldn't blame anyone. I still have idiotic thoughts. Like if I hadn't answered that call, maybe nothing would have even changed. If I'd had been with him, maybe he'd still be alive and smiling. Same with your wife. It's completely stupid. It changed nothing. What could I have done? Stayed with your wife, maybe? Sorry for grabbing you. I was just confused. Let's go. Anyway, now that we know how much of a douchebag Keith really is, we're gonna end this episode here. Jeez. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like this video, press the like button, and if you like want to see more content made by me, press the subscribe button over there. It shows me great support. Really, it does. Anyway, if you want to try this game out yourself, you have a link in the description down below. Show support to the developers, they really deserve it. Anyway, stay awesome, folks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! That's why I'm leaving you.